Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to day 15 of Taking Action. I hope you're doing well. Um, let's dive right into it because I've got some stuff I want to sort of talk through. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen here. Um, and yeah, we've gotten we've gotten stuff done. I haven't actually shown the screen in, in a while, so uh, why not go through it? Um, yeah, exercise has been going on pretty regularly. Haven't had a huge burst of like, hey, I really put in want to put in more time on the stationary bike, uh, but I have been keeping my habits up. Um, I've added I don't remember what I've gone through or not. Um, an additional five minutes of tidying, five minutes of reading a paper book. Those are things I'll probably continue to iterate on. And yeah, those are all done. Um, as far as actions go. Um, I actually don't have anything for today, and that's something I, I do want to talk about. Um, cleaned the toilet, <laughs> like deep cleaned the toilet, like you get the, the stuff that gets rid of, um, you know, mineral buildup and whatnot, and yeah, it's great. Um, I don't know. So, <laughs> so let's jump into to what I really want to talk about. Um, uh, and I think I'm titling this, this video, uh, Controlled Fall, because... Um, I just, I do not want to add more things to this at all right now. And I'm feeling pretty burnt out about, about this project, which is, it's early to have that feeling. Um, what I want to try and do, and I talked about this really early on when I was talking about starting, um, is that I'm very bad at, at um, falling off the wagon with these things. What I want to try and do is... Uh, selectively scale this back in such a way that doesn't uh, derail any progress I may be starting to make um, with my life. And so th my plan is for the next week I'm not going I'm going to suspend the <laughs> the iterative rules that sort of build on these habits. Um, that is I'm still going to every day go through and check off these items. What I'm not going to do is add new items or increment uh, upon these items and I'm also not going to add any of these you know one-off actions that are supposed to make it easier <laughs> for a next day um, now that may be a huge mistake and we'll look back and say oh this is where it all started to go south and then it's just a few days away from me saying eh, to heck with the whole thing and whatever we'll see um, I have been <laughs> I have been super irritable um, the past couple days um, I, I've been I've been just exhausted, um, despite getting, uh, I mean, not, not great sleep, but getting some sleep, um, probably not, probably not apnea-free sleep, which is a likely a contributor, um, and I feel like it has been, it's been a stressful, uh, week, and it will continue to be a stressful, uh, next week, and I just don't need the pressure of adding stuff on. So, we're on a, uh, not a freeze, but just sort of a stand in place, uh, for the next week. And that's, that's what I'm deciding. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad decision. One of the things that I, I, I have found is I, I have this feeling more and more, and this is probably going to be a very long and rambly video. So I apologize, but I also kind of don't apologize. Um, I've had the feeling more and more, particularly over the past year or two, that I don't, I don't even really trust myself <laughs> when I decide things. Um, I go, yeah, this seems like a good idea, but I have I have no idea whether it actually is. Um, I don't have I don't he, he, as a as a younger person. Um, I had confidence that I no longer have. Um, likely a fair amount of that confidence was arrogance, um, but I have. A pathological lack of self-confidence to the point that it is a hindrance to my uh, living a <laughs> living a satisfied life right now. Um, the, the other thing that I want to do is um, kind of put a, a flag down for next week when we do pick these habits back up. Is that most of the stuff that's been that is on here um, is related to um, exercise habitat a little bit. Um, trying to add mental breaks, like having the phone off, writing, uh, reading paper books, tidying, things like that. Um, I really, <laughs> I can't put it off anymore. I need to focus on diet. Um, I, I, have, I have so 
little energy and so little patience and I am in constant pain and I get done with the work day and just the um, the work of sitting in the, in the chair and supporting my spine uh, means that I get up and all I want to do is lie on my side on the single couch where I can do that comfortably because um, I can't lie on my back. It just hurts too much. I can't lie on my stomach. It hurts. And it, it, it's, it's, it's an insane way to live and it's weird that I let things get to this point and I can't, can't, <laughs> can't continue it. At the same time, I also know that when I try and make significant changes uh, to my diet, I tend to get pretty cranky for a couple days when that's starting off, and I can't afford to do that right now. Um, of course, there's that whole self-doubting voice of, well, can you afford not to? Mm -hmm. um, so, next week... <laughs> That's when things have to have to start, and I do, I do want to showcase. I, I think this goes into some of the self doubt thing. Um, so looking back at when I was at my um, when I was at my healthiest, and what I had, and, and yeah, it's, it's a, the the thing that I've noticed is that, um, and between between my memory and looking back and stuff, um, I remember when I was at my thinnest, I looked at myself at my prior heaviest. And looked at some of the photos and went, oh, wow, like, I didn't see that in myself. I didn't see um, what, I, <laughs> what I had let myself get to. Um, and it was only really evident once I had lost um, a fair bit of weight. But at the same time, I also couldn't see uh, that I was, that when, I, when I was healthier, I couldn't really see and didn't, per, didn't feel uh, like I had lost the weight. So for comparison... And maybe the side by side, yeah, okay, the side by side help, helps a little bit. E even then, um, um, so I, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, that is, that is a, a me I'd like to get back to. I pro probably need to trim uh, the mustache a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's not best <laughs> facial hair uh, pruning, but um, but that's where I was at when I was down um, near my my lowest uh, weight, which was still heavier than um, where I would like to get to. Um, but that was uh, early 2019, and I actually have a long, uh, a long record uh, of all of this. Um, and you can see, this is not this is far from my first attempt to turn things around. Um, this goes back to March of 2015, um, and so that that photo would have been from uh, yeah March of of 2019, and what I what I really, really feel like I need is this, uh, just the, I, I'm, I am convinced right now that I, if I can just drop the 20 pounds of water weight, it will be enough that I start sleeping through the night and have the energy to get through the day and don't have just the inflammation and pain that makes it so hard to do everything and, uh, be kind to people. Um, I could be wrong about that. Um, maybe that's not going to solve all of my problems and there is no, the ma no magical quick fix. Um, but boy, it's, it's worth a shot. Um, and so I, I lost a fair bit of weight really in the back half of 2018. Um, and I got, uh, let's see, how did we, 255. Okay. So we got, I'd gone from 374 to 255. Well, 256, because there's a point nine on there. Whatever. Um, and yeah, now I'm... Uh, I guess the heaviest I clocked in is for a 7.5. Um, and it's time to... <laughs> it's time to turn that around again. Um, now, what's worked for me in the past, and I hesitate to talk about food, um, but I feel like it's going to be hard to avoid it. Um, and, I, and, and again, I say worked for me in the past... Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm here at 400 pounds. So do the, does this qualify as working in the past? I don't know. Um, I'm going to maintain that certainly um, what I did in 2018 did. Um, but you know, everyone has to make their own judgments, and, and it's hard to get into discussions of food because everyone seems to have their own takes, and there's there's strong strong arguments on the on the keto side, and strong arguments on the um, whole plant based side, and and bleh. Um, the, the plant-based stuff tends to work, uh, for me, um, and that's, that's just, that's just where, where I ended up, um, 
and yeah so I, I think it's time to get back to that one of the tricky things is um it requires prep time um or at least the, the way that i managed it did maybe maybe some of the some of this next week of break uh can be devoted to trying to figure out how do i how do i <laughs> manage this in a reasonable way um in in such a way that i can integrate it into my life um you know obviously the best way to um well, I don't know. I, I, it, there's an argument that the most sustainable way to change your lifestyle is very slowly and incrementally. Um, and I get that, sure. There's, an ar uh, there's another argument that, boy, when things are really this bad, um, getting a quick, <laughs> um, you know, getting a quick 20 pounds off, such that you know I don't, uh, I, my my arm doesn't go numb when I'm you know, <laughs> asleep on my side. Um, I don't know. Uh, just that the you know the quick loss is helpful. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm do, I'm in that rambly area where I just want to stop recording and then start over and try again. But hey, this thing is taking action and I'm trying to not do that. Um, I, I look. This is this is something that I have done. Um, to myself and to my family and so I don't want to come across as um, as whining about this because it's not my intention but I, I do want to convey if you are um, you know let's 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 say you're here on your journey uh, <laughs> go ahead and There, there's a, there's a very there's a very big difference um, this time around um, the, the, the at least, and I, I'm sure it's going to differ from person to person um, there, but there was there's a very big difference from how I was feeling uh, here at 370 to where I'm feeling now at 400 and it feels like my ability I, I just don't have as much gas in the tank to drive positive change. Um, and, uh, you know, at least when I was, uh, when I was here, I was able to, uh, I mean, I suppose the, it also helped that it was summer. Um, you know, I was going out and, um, as I was losing the weight, um, I was eating plant, plant-based stuff. And then I was also going out, uh, for, uh, for runs, um, most days, which was super helpful. Um, and, yeah, now it's January and we're stuck inside and I'm on the, I'm on the exercise bike that I'm not super thrilled about um, and I really need to add the diet component and I'm not sleeping well and it's not even just a matter of making the time to sleep. Even if I can make the time to sleep, I physically can't sleep. Um, and you know, I get done with work and just <laughs> the exertion of sitting at a desk uh, is too much for me some days. And... Yeah, just just don't let yourself get to this point if you can avoid it. Um, you know, I I'm confident I'm going to be able to turn this around, but boy, I had no idea that there like, just, it is so much harder <laughs> after a certain point. It's just the the tools that you have the. the it's like the power steering goes out. I don't know. There's an appropriate metaphor that's like at the back of my brain. That I'm trying to pull forward. Um, yeah, just you, you. At a certain point, you don't have the same tools that you do um, at a different point, and it just gets harder and harder to pull things back. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, expect to continue to see videos. Um, they're likely just going to be. Uh, token, hey, I'm, I'm making a video to make a video because I'm, I'm not going to be iterating on things this week. Um, I just need, uh, um, I need to not have the stress of trying to improve right now. I need to fall off the wagon uh, gracefully and just say, look, all I'm trying to do is maintain stuff right now, knowing that January is always the worst time, um, doubly so, um, I mean, 
especially especially in uh, in the, the the northern Midwest. Um, January is always awful, uh, but doubly so given that we've already had uh, a year of, of being uh, pretty much stuck in the house that is just relentless. Um, and that all you have to do literally is wait for that to, to improve. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should mention this. Um, well, so there is... Um, uh, <laughs> so at the point, um, the point I was near my lowest, I was actually training um, to run a marathon because I thought, hey, this would be fun and stupid and something that I would feel really proud of myself for being able to do and be a cool reward for uh, really having turned my life around. And uh, due to work conflicts, I wasn't able to do that. And that sucked. Um, so I haven't done that. <laughs> um, and uh, I told myself, okay, well, it's okay. I'll, I'll do it next year. Um, that didn't happen. And uh, we just got the email, because of course now you're on the mailing list for the thing. Um, and they said they they are trying, you know, it was a May, uh, it was a May thing. Um, so I was, they, they didn't do one this year, but next year they've moved it from May to September in the hopes that that makes it more likely folks can race. Um, that's aggressive, but maybe just within the realm of possible. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous that uh, if I'm not if I'm not yet vac <laughs> vaccinated at that point, um, then maybe that's or you know or if enough people aren't vaccinated, then maybe that just does maybe the event doesn't happen anyway. And so setting myself up for another like, hey, this is the goal, but then the goal gets taken away for you know, despite uh, best effort. Maybe that's not a recipe for success. But I don't know. Maybe maybe just putting a flag in that like, cool. If we can get can we get our act together by September? I mean, it would mean a lot. Um, it would mean a lot to me personally. So I don't know, something to something to think through. But if uh, if that's the goal, uh, I don't have a lot of time to really get ready because I need to be training in full uh, by the summer. And yeah. Alrighty. So this is rambly and uncomfortable. Um, I hope you're having a good day, and I will speak to you soon. All right. Cheers.